Hello everyone, welcome back to Persona 4. This is the Irish Android here. In the uh, last episode, we... What did we do? I forgot what we did. Oh yeah, I got a girlfriend with, um... Mary. <laughs> so now... We are just waiting for um, Naoto to recover. And I get a pop up, which I get always annoyed with. Adam's up. Okay. Let's see if Mari's supposed to if I can hang out with um, Oh, hello, ghost lady. Let's see if we're going to hang up with Mar Mary again. Just sell all the materials we have. We don't have anything. I couldn't see if Teddy's available in June's.
Fuck. Let's harvest some vegetables. Great. See if I can hang out with anyone. Reese is available. So far, he's not available. I'll, um yeah, hips. Oh, Mary's not available. So I know I should be reading this, but I'm just not gonna bother. It's too early.
So Reese is kind of on defense now, overtiring. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I've got a girlfriend now. For the little humor, you. So for a reason. What do you say? Okay, I can hang up the manacle, or I can go to the shrine. Well, it's running, so that way it's it's time to eat the beef bowl. So I need more diligence and more understanding. Marnie's not there. <gasps> poem, 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 poem. We get another poem. My list. The hated. People who are all talk. Lying grown ups. Keeping up appearances. Hypocrites. Myself. I hate myself, dumbass. The light. Animals. Only cute ones, though. Like cats. Milk tea. I like lemon, too, though. Black. Blue. Gray, too. Only dark gray. And... Me. Poetry. What is this? <laughs> All right, I'm happy now. Time for some Chinese food. Actually, hang on. Before I do that, I'm the local constructor. Jump. 
Train folder. Now we can Hello. Hmm. Oh. And what what the range? I'm gardening, food finds easy origami. Okay, I did the origami one, so let's make some origami cranes. So now I've maxed out my understanding. I love that. So, shopping, teaching. Taking a girl from the room. Bored? I'm not bored. It's just that there's a lot of funny stuff here. What do you use these for? Tell me about them later, okay? I now have another memory. A new memory that doesn't have anything to do with the old me. It really does make me happy. Yeah. Look, I couldn't remember anything. I was fretting, anxious. I took it out on you. I'm sorry, but I'm okay now. Let's make lots of memories. Memories so fun, I won't care about the past anymore. Well, yeah, I can't do it without you. So, you'd better lead the way. Oh, yeah. Here. I don't need to worry anymore. So, I'm giving this to you. It's to come. Finding my memories, making new ones. Either way, I'll be with you, right? 
So, I want you to have this. And we have now completed the Marnie's tree. People see what they want to see, and, but I know you're different. No matter how thick the fog is, even if you're misguided by lies and illusions, I know you can find the truth. So, you're going to make new memories with me. Memories of the two of us. Giggity. Guys, welcome. Now that we've done everything, Marini, we can now focus on um, finishing off uh, racing a skill tree and tips. And now, till when the time comes, Get my classmates, we see. I need to read a book. Let's hang out with you. Tug of War. Fun fact about me, I used to be the Tug of War champion back in my old school. I used to be called Moda Mountain. Well, you're there, um, I got a feeling your thing is going to rank up. So let's go with you. Oh, 
Who oh there? Dad? Don't let him die. I can't. I don't want to see you guys die. Dad? Sad. <laughs> the I went from happy to sad. Welcome. Let's have those veggies, shall we, Nanako? We build up wheat. More wheat. Come on. Find it. The... Nice. Time to read another book. So we start making uh, the um. <clears throat> Terms. Left. Sorry. Right. Oh. Wrong thing. Standish. Irish. So a little more training, and I can get diligence maxed out. I'm just gonna check in here for some reason. Nope, alright. So we're gonna eat the Chinese food and then we're gonna call it an episode.
Right. And now the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Enaba region later tonight. Uh, equip. Okay, peach battle seems. Hang on. Let's watch TV and then we'll see. We saved her. Uh, it's Neto. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! Uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, does... Everyone's my, so my. Rumors spread so quickly. Just ignore him. Yes. I'm myself, right? <laughs> that aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. And it isn't over yet. Nice. Well, I need to save. First, I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped? Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Such a bizarre experience, with mental and physical fatigue on top of it, it's only natural to be confused. 
And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. That's it! That's what was bothering me! Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of it. And I I'm highly doubt this. that the police will believe any of this. They uh, so we're just discussing the case. Now everyone's gonna join us. <laughs> Our investigation team ranked up. And now I'm gonna save and log off for the night. Hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all in the next one. Uh, cheerio!